Hey guys, what's up Pisces? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. This is going to be a reading for your immediate future. The situation, any obstacles in your way. And the outcome of that situation. Keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. So it could be your energy or the energy of the person that you're dealing with. So flip it how you need to. Also remember it's a general reading. So just take what's yours and leave the rest behind. If it does resonate with you, please make sure that you hit that like and subscribe below. And if you guys would like to contact me for a personal reading, that information is below as well. Alright, Pisces, let's get it. Queen of Oil, okay. Wow. So we have the Queen of Wands, the Seven of Swords, the Moon. Which is your energy could be dealing with a cancer, but both of these are secret cards. This is a liar. This is a cheater. The Queen of Wands can be the other woman. It's it's just indicating maybe there's secrets around something. There could have been a Taurus Virgo Capricorn involved. It could, <clears throat> excuse me, it could have been a couple of things. Let's see the immediate future for Pisces. It looks like there was definitely some lying going on at the very least. All right, well, things are maybe turning around. We have the Five of Cups as the situation, right? <clears throat> Regret, guilt. Overall, not happy. But we do have the magician here and your numbers are breaking down to a one, which is about new beginnings. So somebody is manifesting, trying to make something happen. This could be around a work situation with the eight of pentacles could be somebody that you work with. But at the outcome, it, it looks like there's work being put into something. Show me the five of cups for Pisces. Like I said, the, the Five of Cups is feeling like um, guilt or regret coming off of this. And then you have the Four of Cups. So it's like somebody is regretting something or being let down. You're either no longer interested or this person is fearing. But it's looking like there's a choice. Somebody had a choice. With the Seven of Swords, somebody has options. This is... And, you know, I think, I think that caused a lot of pain. But somebody is definitely, if you know, and it, like I said, it's a general reading, but somebody here has choices. Maybe up to three. Show me the four cups, because it feels like um, you tried something, the, Air, the Emperor Aries energy, so... It's almost like, it feels like you tried something or somebody tried something. I don't think it went the way and it may not have been the first time you gave this a go around. In some situations, like you approached it with a little bit of hesitation, but hopefulness. And I don't think it, it, it kind of panned out. Because whether this is you or them, you know, somebody has choices, has options. Show me the magician. The magician and the seven of swords. The magician is a trickster. Has tricked up his or her sleeves. Um, and with the seven of swords, there's definitely somebody who is um, crafty. Show me this magician for Pisces. What are we manifesting? Five of Pentacles. So somebody wants to make something happen. It could be straight up because they're broke. Or somebody wants to come in now the cold. They have done ghost to the situation. Somebody could have stole some money here. The devil. Damn. Capricorn energy. You have the seven of swords, the magician, 
and the fucking devil. This could have been around greed. This could be a toxic situation, an ex, something like that. This is reoccurring. You got to remember it's a general reading. So take it how it applies to you. Because there's a couple of stories. Okay. We have the seven of swords, which is a liar, a cheater, a thief. So it's looking like somebody here had options. And that shit, it hurt, right? But we also have the five of pentacles, which is a card of poverty. A card of feeling without. A lacking card. So this also, like I said, a liar, cheater, thief. There could have been money issues involved here because we have the devil. So greed could have came into play. This could have been a third party situation. Somebody with options. But at the end of the day, it left someone feeling like shit. It hurt. It, it left somebody feeling abandoned, ghosted, without. The Queen of Cups and the Death. So, so the Queen of Cups is your energy. The Death card is Scorpio energy. There's some type of change here. There's some type of cycle that's trying to get broken. Whatever this devil energy is. And with the devil, there, that's it can be like a toxic situation that we keep holding on to. But there was pain within this. And it went beneath the surface. It's not just like everything was as it appeared to be. But it's, 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 it's almost like emphasizing that there are, there are two paths here. Okay. And one keeps leading back to the same situation, the same feeling. Show me this eight of pentacles for Pisces. The eight of pentacles is work. So you may be focused on your career, but it feels like somebody is, yeah, cancer energy. With the chariot there, somebody is trying to work on things, get things balanced and back on track. The Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. It really seems like you're focused with your career right now. With the Queen of Swords, you're definitely guarded. You're not going to take anyone's shit. And it, with the chariot, that's that's getting back on balance, getting back on track. Um, and I think that's what you're going to do. I don't think... You trust um, completely the situation. Eight of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. It just, it, it kind of feels like, you know, even if there was poverty issues here, you're working on things now. You're getting back to work and, and that may be what it is. There could have been money issues because something could have got stolen. So you're really focused on your career. This also could have been a third party situation. Show me the chariot for um, Pisces. It really looks like you're focused on your money right now. But it could be with this person. The Wheel of Fortune. So you do have destiny. You have fate. You have things starting to move here. And you're moving towards your wish fulfillment. Whether it's with this person or just on your own. The tower, sudden change, drive, assertiveness, things taking off at a very qu quick, quick rate. The eight of wands, communication, but also another very quick card. All the um, wands are about movement. The eight of wands is communication, but you have a lot of drive and assertiveness behind this. You have destiny, like I said, on your side, fate, and you have things kind of changing very suddenly. To where they just become very happy and start really moving forward. And this could be around a career situation. It could be with a person. I think with the Knight of Swords at the bottom, this is, is going to catch you off guard. The King of Swords and Knight of Wands. Trust your intuition there. Because definitely somebody could have had options in the past and... Kind of feeling like, you know, this, it got ghosted. Somebody got ghosted or it led to a situation of poverty. But things are going to maintain, they're going to not maintain, they're going to improve. They're going to start moving forward, the Knight of Cups. So this definitely could be um, another water sign. It could be your energy, but there are feelings. This person is going to reach out and communicate. Um, 
I feel like you're going to be a little bit guarded towards them. I don't know if you're going to completely trust it, but the star Aquarius energy, it looks like it's wrapping back around. Honestly, if, if this was money wise, that's improving, but there also looks like there's somebody, I can't say it's exactly an apology, but this definitely could be an ex or someone that, you know, wasn't completely honest. And either you moving forward on your own, but it also looks like there's some type of communication feelings coming through here that, you know, kind of is just out of the blue and intense drive behind it. So let's get advice for you guys. Advice for Pisces, please. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. This would definitely be an ex who um, possibly wasn't very honest. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Um, and retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. And in this this um, picture, you know, it's two people retreating. So sometimes, you know, maybe you need to take that alone time and either together or in solitude however you feel necessary but it's kind of regroup but things are taking taking off and moving forward after this situation whatever this was so all right pisces i hope this helps i hope it resonated if so please make sure that you like and subscribe below if you guys would like to contact me for a personal reading find that information below as well you guys take care and i'll see you next time bye